So first we're going to locate his xiphoid process, and then we're going to locate his umbilicus, and we're going to find the three ganglion, our ciliac, our superior mesenteric, and our inferior mesenteric, and we're going to press down into the ciliac ganglion, and we're going to palpate lateral direction, up and down, and clockwise, counterclockwise, and we're going to find where he's restricted, and we're going to rotate into the restriction, and then we'll hold this restriction for 30 to 60 seconds. Remember this will get us T5 to T9, any of that innervation, so the stomach, first part of the GI tract. And then we can move on to the superior mesenteric ganglion. Again, same thing, we're going to palpate laterally, superior, inferior, clockwise, and counterclockwise, and find his restriction. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds, waiting for it to release. This is going to get us T10 and 11 innervation, so the middle part of the GI tract. And then we'll get the inferior mesenteric ganglion. So here we're going to again, we're going to palpate in lateral directions, superior, inferior, counterclockwise, and clockwise. And we're going to find where he's restricted and hold him in all three planes of restriction. And this is going to get us our T12 to L2 region, so the remainder of the GI tract to the colon. And then we want to reassess motion in all those plans.